Yes, perfect. What better film to talk about when I look and sound like Bane than The Dark Knight Rises? To be honest with you, I've only just saw it last night. A nice friendly pirate was kind enough to share it with me. Ooh, shh. Yes, I, I hadn't seen it in theaters. My friend had spoiled the shit out of the ending and the ending kind of sounded bad. I didn't I didn't want to spend money on it, I'm sorry. But I, it did keep... My interest was was piqued. I wanted to see it. There were parts of it that, that looked interesting. I thought Bane, of course, seemed really cool. I, I'm a huge Tom Hardy fan. I wanted to actually see how that, how that played out. At first, I was a, a little bit reluctant to really buy the character because you know i think i think a lot of a lot of fans were uh, didn't quite buy the the size but he grew on me and i i like the mask even though it re resembles goatsy I, I watched it and i i do have some thoughts i'll say right off the bat that i'm i'm not the biggest fan of of christopher nolan's style of of filmmaking uh, my favorite movie of his so far that he's done is is Inception. I I think Inception is the type of a film that he should be making. I don't I don't think uh, comic book stories are his as his strong point. I I think he reveals too much. I think his dialogue is a little too expository, and this movie definitely has a, a large chunk of that you know like every time we we learn something about bruce wayne or we find out what what bruce wayne is feeling it's usually through a monologue from michael caine now i love michael caine but i also love christian bale i i feel like christian bale can can show these emotions himself without michael caine going into a fucking monologue about burma to explain what bruce wayne should be feeling this movie had a lot of that. And that's not something that completely took away my enjoyment of the film. I actually did enjoy it quite a bit. I just didn't take it very seriously. I know a lot of people take these Nolan Batman films quite seriously and that they're, they're, they're smarter and they're more tactical and, and whatnot. And his, the Batsuit is definitely tactical and he's definitely got a more tactical Batmobile, but... I do feel that the writing is, is rather bad. Like, where, where to start? Uh, I, I got a, a real chuckle out of Harvey Dent Day. I, I don't know why, but the, the very uttering of, of the phrase Harvey Dent Day I found to be rather funny. <laughs> but I won't get too much into that. I just thought it was a, a little bit hilarious. Okay. Now, I know people don't like spoilers, but this this will be a video filled with them because the, the movie's already been out for a little while. First off, and I know some people liked this character, but the Talia character should have been done away with completely. It's not a good twist if it's a character that was maybe in 20% of the movie that you literally throw in as, like, the main bad guy after the supposed lackey had done all of the fucking legwork. Bane was great as a character, and I think they honestly should have gone with him being Ra's al Ghul's son. I don't see why not. I thought it was kind of a cop-out to just have him get shot with the fucking bat cycle. And it's stupid because her plot literally makes no sense because... She says that she hates her father because she left Bane to die. Yet she must avenge her father because Batman killed him. I mean, the line is literally that. It's stupid. Overall, many of the of the little you know other plot points are, are quite stupid. Like how at the very end, JGL's character's real name is Robin. 
and there's no point to it because obviously we're not going to continue this saga anymore. There was no point to introduce Robin if we're not going to have any more Nolan Batman films. So Bale, I thought, was cool. I thought it was a... Basically, I, I wish the movie would have had more Bale. I wish we would have known exactly why he wears the mask. It didn't say all that much about that. I know that he was, you know, beat up down in that hole for a long time, but... I would have liked to know why he was as strong as he was, and why, if he's in such a weakened state, he can ultimate warrior gorilla press, uh, you know, a 200-plus pound Batman and break him over his knee. Dark Knight Rises. Probably my favorite out of the Nolan Batman films. I liked it better than Dark Knight. But this one still had some problems. Though... Bane makes it pretty worth watching. That first fight scene between Batman and Bane is awesome. And then that second one makes no sense because technically Batman is more injured than before yet somehow manages to break his mask this time. Because he did sit-ups and push-ups. Plot hole city in, in, a, in a filmmaker that's supposed to be more realistic than Tim Burton. Yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, his guitar.